the chapter of electric current some problems are given those are very important for public examination point of view among those problems i am going to explain one of the problem in this video watch very carefully up to last without any skip the problem should be like this two bulbs having readings 100 watts and 220 volts and 60 watts 220 volts which one has the greater resistance two bulbs are there they rating means what i think but power here watts means what power so here the first bulb is given for first bulb for first bulb here 100 watts what is the unit of power that's what right p1 is equals to 100 watts and similarly its voltage is what v1 voltage across the first bulb is 220 volts and similarly for second bulb second bulb how much power is given 60 watts 60 watts and what is the voltage that here across the bulb 220 volts now what you have to find out among these two bulbs which bulb has which bulb has more resistance more resistance that is the we have to find out it that is the problem children so already we know the problem formula here children power is pv is equals to vi p is equals to vi electric power formula in terms of old day and current but it was given in terms of resistance that's why i am going to write this one p is equals to v into i means what v is the potential we can write v is the i r into i then p is equals to i square r p is equals to what to learn i square r then i am going to write like this p into i square into r by r into r by r i square into r into r by r again these two are cancelled there is no change in its value then what you get p is equals to i square r square by r and p is equals what here i am going to write i r whole square by r then p is equals what you learn v square by r this is the formula we are going to use here p is equals to v square by r so that's why here now what right p is equals to v square by r p is equals to v square by r and r is equals to what you learn v square by p r is equals to v square by p this is the formula we are going to use in this one already we have individually pressure uh, sorry power and uh, voltage values are there you have to substitute there then here now simply r is equals to v square by p in that formula we have to substitute the values of power and potential for the two bulbs so again for the first bulb what right r1 is equals to r1 is equals to what right v1 square by p so r p1 r1 is what v1 square by p1 what is r1 here v1 is here 220 220 into 220 whole square is what 220 into 220 by p1 what is p1 100 clear so 00, 0 cancel 00, 0 cancel then what you have 22 into 22 so 22 into 22 22 is 44 Again, 22 is 44 plus 4, 4 is 44. Then what is the first bulb? How much resistance is there? 484. In the same manner, for second bulb, for second bulb, again same formula here, R2 is equal to V2 square by P2. What is V2? Again, V2 is here much 220. 220 whole square by means 220 into 220 by P2. What is the power here? P2 60 watts. 60 watts. 0, 0 cancel. Then what do you get? R2 is equals what? 22 into 22, 484. 484 into 10 here. 22 into, I am going to write like this to simply understand that one. I am going to write like this. 22 into 220 is what? 20 into 10 into 22 by 6. 
twenty two thousand four eighty four into ten four eight four zero by six. So here what you get? Four eight four zero. Six eights are forty eight. Again four zero. Thirty six. Again S. Then R two is what children? Eight zero six six point six ohms. So children. R2 is equal to 806.6 ohms. That's why here the second bulb, the second bulb has more resistance. Therefore, second bulb has more resistance. R2 is greater than R1. So children, without doing that problem solution, we can easily say the answer. How it is possible? Let's see here. 220 is constant here for both bulbs. Potential is constant. Clear? Remember from this formula, R is equal to V square by P. R is equal to V square by P. It means that V square by P. When V is constant, when V is constant, what is it, children? R is proportional to one by P. R is proportional to one by P. How these two are inversely proportional? Inversely proportional. When power is more, resistance is less. When resistance is uh, power is less, resistance is more. When power is more, resistance is less. It must be proportional. That's why among the two bulbs, second bulb has the less power. Less power than resistance is more. That's why the second bulb has more or greater resistance. So, dear students, in our channel we have so many, I have learned so many ten class videos. Just go to the playlist and check the playlist. So, if you want any particular kind of topic, just watch the video. And if you understand this video, like, share, comment the video, and suggest my channel to your friends also. Okay, thank you for watching.